Well, good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family across the world. This is Mike with your Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on September 14th, 2017. Thank you for joining me today. It's a Thursday. Hope you all have a great day today. I know I will be. And yes, we are studying more tropical storms. We've got six churning on our planet right now. Uh, yesterday we had five. We had a new one form yesterday and another area of investigation. Uh, so we have Max right here, Hurricane Max heading east, northeast. He's already got wind gusts of 140 kilometers an hour. Uh, probably will not, I think, uh, there's no projection for it to get across Mexico into the Gulf. But I think it quite, quite possibly could make it to the Gulf. We'll see. Uh, we have another one right beside it here. This is uh, Tropical Storm 15. And here we have Doc Surrey heading into the Philippines. And Doc Surrey's got wind gusts of 170 kilometers an hour, sustained winds of 140 kilometers an hour. It's heading west northwest, 22 kilometers an hour. Pretty fast moving storm. And then we've got Talim, Typhoon Talim, who is now category four, uh, heading straight into the island of Japan. Um, Japan will take a big hit from Typhoon Talim as it is heading north, northwest at eight kilometers an hour. Wind gusts of 270 kilometers an hour. Max sustained winds of 222. So this is a pretty nasty storm. You can see a very defined eye wall as it is approaching the coastlines of China and the island of Japan. And then right underneath we've got Doc Surrey here. Oh right, this is Jose. We were looking at Jose. But this is Doc Surrey here underneath. And yesterday when I was looking at this storm, you could see here, see all the cloud tops? That's reaching our toposphere and ionosphere. These cloud tops are so high and they're being shred by our atmosphere. When it hits the top, you know, we're getting probably reaching 50,000 feet, the cloud tops. And that hits our toposphere and ionosphere and spreads out. And you get that. Tons of moisture worldwide, everybody. Lots of strange things happening on this planet. And Morning Dew is here for you. Analyzing all these weather events as they are unfolding around the world. So those are the four major tropical storms out of the six that I am keeping an eye on. And I just wanted to give you a uh, quick look here of the disaster, Pacific Disaster Alert Center. These are all the alerts that are active right now. So you can see every continent is dealing with something. Every country is dealing with something. Some kind of environmental disaster, fires, floods, disease, hurricanes, droughts, fires, earthquakes, volcanoes. So Typhoon Talim will be an issue. Wind speed, 58 miles an hour. That's as a category two right now. 127 miles an hour. Typhoon Talim. Yeah, we've got some recent fires in Australia that have broken out. And of course, fires in Angolia that are still going on in the Congo region. And some recent fires that have sprouted in the uh, south of the continent of South America. Argentina and Brazil. So these were all new fires overnight. We're getting a lot of uh, cosmic particles and 
cosmic dust penetrating our atmosphere right now is showed yesterday on one of my videos, the cosmic dance party that uh, we're going through in our solar system right now. That Lasco 2 image is something I've never seen before. And it kind of looks like, yeah, cosmic particles all over the place. Plasma. It's pretty crazy stuff. But we did have a, with that little bit of flare action yesterday, we had a little bit of an uptick in our solar wind stream. So we were steady at about uh, 300 overnight. But now this morning we're sitting at a 441 kilometers per second and negative positive polarities jumping right apart there. So we're still waiting for a lot of things to change here as we're going through these changes. Uh, a lot of scientists and people around the world are expecting our poles to flip and that's pretty much what every planet does eventually even our stars, their poles flip. Positive and negative polarities flip. So, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the earthquakes, or sorry, the, uh, the hurricanes around the world, and the typhoons that are raging. And give you a quick satellite imagery of what they look like from space. You can see Talim here. Duck Surrey here, and another large typhoon forming behind. Um, it's still not an area of interest yet, but I'm sure by tomorrow it will be. Now let's uh, let's just go over the last 24 hours for earthquakes. It's been actually a pretty quiet night, considering the last little while but we did have some action in Yellowstone. So it wasn't very quiet in Yellowstone, but everywhere else was fairly quiet. Still minor tremors going on in Mexico, where that very large 8.1 occurred over a week ago. South America still rumbling with some deeper earthquakes. And a very large, deep earthquake here in the Tonga region and in the Philippines. <clears throat> As per usual in the Tongas, they're always really fairly deep. But heads up, everybody, you know, this is uh, Morning Dew is here for you, posting severe weather analysis and keeping track of all of Mother Nature's heartbeats. So, our biggest concern, of course. Typhoon Talim heading straight into Japan, straight into a very heavily populated island of Japan. We all know this, they all know this. They've experienced many a typhoons before, Typhoon Haiyan being the biggest. Typhoon Talim is proving to be a pretty sizable contestant to Haiyan. I don't know if everybody remembers Haiyan or not, but Haiyan was the largest recorded super typhoon in history back in 2014, I believe. But yeah, as we go through these changes together, I want to make sure that everybody's aware and prepared for these large environmental events that we're going to be experiencing together. I want to thank you for watching me, watching my video today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Thanks for watching today. This is your update on the world. Stay young, have fun, and get your morning dew.